Hello everyone, I'm Argama Witch, and today I'm going to show you how to make glasses for your Vroid character. Now there's a few ways you can do it. One, you can import glasses if you have it as a Unity FBX, uh, as an FBX and import it into Unity. Um, the other way to do it in program is to use hair. You can make a mesh and do it per the stra uh, strands around each of the eyes. Or in order to get different styles, because it's really hard to get a particular style that way, we're going to do it this way, which is slightly easier. What you're going to want to do is add a freehand group. You're going to kind of want to bring it out somewhere away from the face a little bit. Uh, I'm going to do mirror for now in order to pull this out. Because you want it like kind of a wide surface to work on. Yep, like that. And then what you're going to want to do is turn your mode off. Grab your pen brush. Over here you have the cross section. You're going to want that flat. Fluffy, you're going to turn to straight and you're going to make that as straight as possible. And then you're going to just do a little line across the face. I do it short so there's only a few of these dots to work with. And then you're just going to drag this across and kind of line everything up so it's straight. Something, something like, like that, I guess. And I'm going to take the select tool, so we'll bring this menu back up. And I'm going to duplicate this texture that I currently have, because that's the hair texture, so screen hair texture. Um, and we're going to turn it just white. And we know it's the last one, so let's go over to textures. Let's go over to textures. All right, and we're gonna open this bottom one up. And that's this one that we're working on. And we can double check that by just kind of giving a scribble and you can see it showing up there. Now, at this point, you're gonna wanna erase the entirety of the thing with a texture. like that and then you're going to take your pen and on here you're going to draw your glasses you're only going to want to draw on half of this because this would be basically the top of the hair the back of the hair you know the front the back or vice versa so we're going to kind of work over on this side and just draw something that resembles glasses Is a thing. Normally you'd want it longer. And you can kind of see where it's appearing over here. And then you can come back over here, find where your glasses layer is, which is this last one. I'm going to change my width to uh, zero. Uh, the texture width. I can also scale the width to make it like wider. And then I'm just going to use these to kind of stretch it out to where I want it. Or I could use the highlight position to kind of move it along the thing a little bit. Now, this is kind of like... This is like low-key fugly, so we're going to kind of make it look a little better by opening up a, an art program. Uh, you can use something like Photoshop or... Krita or anything you have, Metabang. I use Clip Studio Paint because that is what I have. Um, so I'm just going to take, well, this is the approximate size for a hair texture. Normally I would export it, um, but I'm feeling kind of, kind of lazy right now. And I'm going to draw in some glasses. And I'm going to do big circular glasses. I like that. Uh, keep in mind you only need half of this because it's going to kind of stretch a little weird. So something like, something like that. Let me uh, duplicate it to make sure that it matches on the other side. Uh, 
I want to line that up a little bit. Oops. Let's not forget the bridge. And that's it. And we're going to import this over into the other one. Or we can add a little something just to make it kind of a little dorky. Alright, and back over here, we're going to go over to our texture area again. And we're going to go down to hair. And we're going to right click. And we're going to import. And we're going to do the glasses. Alright, and here are our glasses. Um, I did notice that if you get a little bit of clipping off of one edge of the glasses, you need to just adjust that slightly down on the texture. I'm gonna pull, oops, I'm gonna pull this in a little bit. I'm gonna line it up. And I kinda wanna make these more circular, so I'm gonna give this whole thing a bigger height like that. Yes. I want these to be kind of more nerdier. Like that. That'll do. And that, for the most part, is how you would add glasses onto your character. Now, you can fill them in if you want, which I did do. Um, on this one. But you're not going to be able to see through them. Mostly you have to adjust for hair. Yeah, and that's a simple way of adding glasses onto your model. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. If for some reason you see your hair and it looks kind of weird, like maybe it looks like this, uh, you might need to just check. Make sure it is on the flat one. You need it flat, flat, flat. Uh, adjust the offset. Might need to just rotate it a little bit. There's also a way if you want to have like multiple pairs on one thing you can. Um, you might need to adjust the highlight position in order to get where the center of the bridge is. And for the width, this will make the glasses really tall, really small. And then you just need to adjust these points using the control points over here in order to adjust like you know the overall length of the glasses so if this video has helped you out in any way um give it that old like or whatever and if you have any questions just let me know down below and yep i'll see you in my next tutorial speed art whatever the thing i do is i don't really know but all right bye